Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A14 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now this is honestly very interesting because the Galaxy S21 FE is a phone that came out last year, it wasn't really supposed to be a budget phone, it's more like a mid-tier phone and it's gone down in value so much it's kind of in line with something like the Samsung Galaxy A14 which is a brand new super budget phone from Samsung. So if you want to pick up either one of these phones, the links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside, there are actually some pretty similarity, some similarities and some pretty big differences here. Now with the Galaxy S21 FE, it came out early 2022. It's already been a year since this phone's came out. It's been crazy. This phone on the front had a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display. It's a 120 hertz panel, 1080p, and it was a pretty good panel when it first came out. And even now it's still a pretty good panel. It's a hole punch display. So nothing super crazy or, you know, anything we haven't seen before. A little bit of bezel around it, but not really. It's really not that much bezel compared to what phones used to be, especially with the A14. And overall, the front of this phone looks very good. You know, I think it's a very, very good panel overall on the S21 FE. Now on the A14 5G on the other hand, this specific phone has a bigger 6.6 inch PLS LCD panel. Now I'm going to pause right there. It's a bigger screen which is really cool. However, it is not an AMOLED display. It's a PLS LCD panel. That already, in my opinion, is kind of a step down from coming from the S21 FE. It's also a 90 hertz panel, which honestly shocked me. A lot of phones, even now to this day, are, you know, some are more expensive that still don't even have 90 hertz panels, but the A14 actually has it, which is very interesting. Unfortunately, it is not as good as the S21 FE's 120 hertz display, so keep that in mind. The resolutions are almost identical though. But the S21 FE's panel is definitely far superior than the A14 in my opinion. Now both these phones have USB-C ports which is great. However, the A14 has a headphone jack where the S21 FE actually does not have a headphone jack which is very interesting, kind of a flip-flop there. Now the sides of these phones, not really too much is super different between the sides here. They're almost identically kind of the same thing, but the S21 FE feels way more premium. Like, yes, they're kind of flat sides, but the S21 FE is just so much better there for sure. Now on the back, there's also kind of a really interesting flip-flop here because the way the Galaxy A14 looks, it looks more in line with the latest S23s than the S21 FE does, which is even crazier. So that is something that's honestly very shocking to me. Now with the S21 FE, you're getting, you know, a plastic back, kind of the same thing as the A14, but it's a frosted glass back on the S21 FE. Where the A14 has this like texturized back, which actually kind of feels nice. If you rub your fingers across it, it's kind of like velvety, like I don't know the best way to describe it, but it actually kind of feels kind of good, which is very interesting. So from the outside looking in, it's honestly very interesting how both these phones kind of work because they're very similar but very different. But some big things to keep in mind, the S21 FE is bringing these big flagship features. It's bringing wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. Surprise, the S21 FE has reverse wireless charging. I know the S20 FE had it, but it's still a really nice feature that it has. It does also have a fingerprint sensor built into the display with the A14s as side mounted. We don't really get expandable storage we do get, however, expandable storage on the A14. There was a micro SD card slot on that phone, which is very interesting. Unfortunately, the S21 FE does not have that, which is kind of expected. So those are already some pretty big differences here for sure. Now from the camera side, this is a big, massive thing to keep in mind. If you look at the, both these phones, you would assume that the cameras are identically the same because they're triple cameras, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The S21 FE's cameras are, are it's a proper triple camera setup. It's a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, eight megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. With the Galaxy A14, it's a triple camera setup, I will give it that, but listen to this, 50 megapixel wide angle lens, two megapixel macro lens, and then a two megapixel depth lens. Now I'm going to pause right there again. That is pretty much, I mean, the only reason Samsung even put three cameras on the A14 is to make it look like it's a triple camera setup. It is not a triple camera setup on that phone. I mean, it's barely, it's, it's a, it's a single camera setup at best, maybe a dual camera setup with the S21 FE. That is a proper triple camera on that phone because you're able to zoom in and zoom out a ton on that phone 
with the A14, you can do 10x zoom a lot. It's all digital, so there's not really a big reason why Samsung even put those many cameras on the A14, if I'm being honest. The front is also a big difference. S21 FE, 32 megapixel front facing camera, A14, 13 megapixel front facing camera. So numbers, you know, may not even seem that big of a difference, but only 1080p on the front of the A14. We are having 4K at 60 on the front of the S21 FE. Now to give you some perspective, you can do 4K at 60 on the back of the S21 FE, only 1080p on the back of the A14. The last time we were able to even do 1080p only on the, you know, the Galaxy S series, I think it was probably, I don't even know, the Galaxy S5 many, many years ago. Since the Galaxy S10, we've been able to do 4K at 60 on the back and the front, and that phone came out in 2019. So just kind of think about that. You're definitely getting a way better camera on the Galaxy S21 FE than the, than the Galaxy A14. Now on the software and longevity portion, I don't know if one phone, like I'm not too sure which one is going to outlast the other one. I think probably the S21 FE is going to outlast it, but that phone is already approaching two years old, at least with the original S21 and the S21 FE has the same internals as the S21. So I don't know what's going to be happening there. If the A14 gets two versions of software updates, then that's going to put these, both these phones in line to each other. So that is going to be a very interesting thing if both these phones kind of end off at the same time. But I guess in the performance side, this is also a really, really big difference here. The S21 FE has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it with 6 gigs of RAM on the base model, but it does go up to 8 gigs of RAM. The Galaxy A14 has that Exynos 1330 chipset with 4 gigs of RAM on the base model, 6 gigs of RAM on the mid-tier model, and then 8 gigs of RAM on the top-tier model. Now, in the performance side, what I would say is definitely, again, the S21 FE is the better performing here for sure. I mean, this phone has a lot of power. The 888 chipset of 2021 was a very good chipset. It was right before, you know, Qualcomm switched over to their new generation of chipsets. And I like these chipsets a lot. You know, they were really powerful. I had a great time with it. And from all the phones in 2021 that supported it, I had a tremendous time with it for sure. Now, you may look at that phone and you may look at the, you know, A14, you may say, well, that one has a newer chipset. So because of that, it may be better. It couldn't be further from the truth. One, even if you get, uh, it does have that MediaTek chipset in some too, but that Exynos chipsets have just been notorious of not being that great from Samsung. So that is the one thing to keep in mind. The second thing to keep in mind is that chipset, I've already messed with it a little bit. It It's just not that good of a performing phone for that price, in my opinion. I think it's actually decent, you know, but it's not as great great compared to the S21 FE, if that phone costs you less than $300, that is a very, very good price to pay for a phone that's as good of a performing phone as the S as the FE, in my opinion. So in that perspective, I mean, it definitely gives a thumbs up to the you know S21 FE for sure. Now in the battery life segment, you are getting a 4,500 million power battery on the S21 FE, 5,000 million power battery on the A14. Like I mentioned earlier, bigger size battery on the Galaxy A14, which is great. And you might actually get better battery life from the A14 since it's so underpowered. But the S21 FE, you are getting wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is a battery feature that we kind of have to throw in here. So I'd probably give that to the S21 FE as well. And to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, what I would tell you is, is that I kind of do think when it comes down to it, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is 100% the way better phone here. That is the better phone pretty much in every single area. You're getting a better display, better camera, not better battery life, but still really good battery life and better battery features with reverse and wireless charging. You're getting Samsung DeX, which is amazing. Great build quality, well, better build quality than A14. Like you're getting it all on the S21 FE and it's only slightly more expensive than the A14. So, I mean, the A14, you're getting better battery or bigger battery, maybe better battery life. And that's kind of it and a cheaper phone. That's pretty much all you're getting on the, on the A14. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.